Hi there, this is Mar Haddad. In uh, this uh, video, I just want to uh, do exercises to show you how many collision domains and broadcast domain we may have in a network. So the first exercise is this one. You can see we have a router connected to switch, switch to a hub, and then we have two PCs over here, one connected to the hub and one connected to the switch. So the question is here, how many collision domains we have and how many broadcast domain we have. So we know that from the switch, the switch can divide the collision domains, but not the broadcast domain. And we say that each port of the switch is a collision domain by itself. So if we go to here to the switch, so this is one collision domain. Very good. So this is one collision domain. Now on the hub, we cannot say that this is one collision domain here because the hub doesn't divide the collision domains. Okay. So that means all of this is one collision domain. All right. So then we have two collision domain. Then we have one port over here also connected to the router. So this is the third collision domain. So that means this is what we have. So I will write here collision domain. We have three. Now the broadcast domain, broadcast domain. We said that the switch doesn't uh, divide the broadcast domain and the hub, of course, it can do that. The only one which can do it is the router. All right, so we have one router here. That means all of these here, we have one broadcast domain. All right, so this is one broadcast domain. So the answer is based on this graph, that we have three collision domains and we have one broadcast domain. So let's see now the exercise two, what we have. So the same question here applies how many collision domains we have and how many broadcast domain we have. So. Let's start working with the collision domain. This is the switch. We do have here one collision domain and we do have also here another collision domain. So that's two. Now the router, he can divide the collision also, not only the broadcast, but also can divide the collision because it's on layer three. So remember the switch works on layer two. So if the switch can do uh, dividing the collision domain, then of course the router can do also. So this means that we have also here one collision domain. And also we do have here one collision domain. So what does it mean here? Here we should say that the collision domains that we have, we do have in this scenario, four collision domains. Let's see now how many broadcast domain we do have. So. Remember that the switch cannot divide the broadcast domain. All right. So that means we do have here one broadcast domain, all of those, including the switch, because the switch cannot divide it. So this is one. And uh, we have here also one broadcast domain between those two routers and also here one broadcast domain between those routers. So that means at the end we do have, if we make broadcast domain, we have here three broadcast domains. So this is what I wanted to explain in uh, this video. Now we have uh, the knowledge of what are the collision domains and the broadcast domain based on the lecture that I have explained. And uh, you have those exercises. So anytime you have any question about how many broadcast domain and collision domains you have. So you have to remember, check your if you have a layer three device or layer two or layer one device. And then based on that, you can find out how many broadcast domain and collision domains you have. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope it was informative for you and I will see you in other videos.